I want knobs. It's <laughs> none of your business. See what happens. This was a bad idea. Morning, morning. Welcome to this week's vlog. Sorry about no vlog last week. Me and Claire just have hardly seen each other over the last month or so. I'm out all day, every day. Um, but not, not for long, not for much longer. I've only got a few more days left making this TV show. And uh, I'll be back to being an unemployed actor again. You may have heard, I think they announced it in the news, in the sort of, not in the news, but in the sort of trade acting trade news. I don't think it made any headlines, uh, but I'm making a TV show called The Horde. It's a four part drama for Channel 5. And uh, it's got Neil Morrissey in it, which is quite cool. I'm a big Men Behaving Badly fan, so uh, I've enjoyed working with him. It's the morning, it's about, I think it's just before seven o'clock. I've turned up to work. This is my trailer. I mean, they say trailer. There's some water damage there, don't worry about that. I don't know why they call them trailers, all right? They're caravans. There's a mirror. There's a couch. That's all, uh, that's all there, oh, there's a toilet. That's it, that's all there is to them. They're not, they're, they're not, well, this is a pretty standard trailer. I'm sure you get much better ones. I've not, I've never reached that level of stardom. Um, I got driven into work today by a Tesla, which was quite posh. Although, I don't know how the door handles work on a Tesla. Just, the, the door handles are seamless into the door. You have to sort of like push the door handle and then pull it, which I gotta be honest, is more work. The door handle works already. The door handle, the standard car door handle that we've been using for decades where you just pull the door open that works absolutely fine. Now you've got to do a, a push and a pull. You've, the Tesla have managed to complicate a door handle. That's not my fault, that's not on me. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't feel like a because I don't know how to open the door of your car. Also another thing, and no offense to anyone that's got a Tesla. I'm sure they're great, I'm sure you love them. I mean, they're dead posh and all that. The styling of car, like modern cars these days. They've gone super sleek and minimalist and Basically, you don't get any dials or anything. You just get a TV screen. Boring. So boring. It's too grown up and too boring. I, when I sit in a car and sit behind a wheel, I want to feel like I'm in a fighter jet cockpit. I want switches and buttons and knobs and... I want knobs. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about. Uh, yes, it is vlog time, um, and this vlog, by the time you've watched this vlog, by the time, you know, even if you do make it to the end, which I won't blame you if you don't, um, you'll realise why there wasn't a vlog last week, because um, there really isn't much going on that's particularly interesting. I'm working, and that's, that is, that's not as interesting as you might think. I know working on a TV show may sound like that's a sort of cool thing to do, but famously it's incredibly boring making TV and film. I need to go and get into costume. Right, I think that's me uh, being told to go to makeup. Hey guys, just need to cut into uh, the vlog <sighs> experience just for a second to talk about this week's sponsor. It's, the, it's that time of the month again. No. Oh! It's that time of the month again. I don't know if you're allowed to make jokes about that. <laughs> it's that time of the month again where uh, we talk to you about Sky Cinema. We're part of the Sky Cinema Club. We love it, don't we? I still love it, it's yeah. It's brilliant. It makes us sound like we're proper YouTubers. Yeah, it does, yeah. And each month it's our job to recommend a Sky Cinema movie for you guys to go and check out. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's currently Sunday afternoon for us. Um, almost evening. Almost evening. I've got a backache. You'll find out more about that uh, as you watch the vlog. And we're sitting down, we're watching a film, what's the film called? Dead Shot. Dead Shot, yeah. Looks quite cool. It's got Mark Strong in it. It's got guns in it. It's set in 1970s London. Yeah. 
I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. So each month they do pop-up films, um, loads of different genres to pick from. From the 18th to the 22nd of May, they're doing fairy tales on Sky Animation, which is great for us. We live in a fairy tale, Claire. Um, obviously the boys love a little animation film. It's got something for everybody. I'm a huge movie fan. My favourite thing in the world to do is to watch movies. So I love being part of Sky Cinema Club. If you want to find out more information, click the link in the description box and it'll let you know what other dates are for other pop-up films and all the sort of things that they've got going on over there. It's not an exclusive club, by the way. No, it's if not you are a If you are a Sky customer... They clearly let anyone in. You have access to all this stuff that, that we're talking about. So I'm on set now, just uh, rehearsed the first scene of the day. We're at this incredible farm, great location to, to shoot at. And the weather's not been too bad the last couple of days. So it's felt a little bit like a sort of day out. It's, just... it's cool, isn't it? But yeah, this is me for the rest of the day. Uh, all the crew there, everyone's setting up for the scene. I'm trying to make this scene interesting. I did tell you it was boring. Just hanging out with the cat. And there's his <laughs> asshole. There you go. <laughs> Okie dokie. Lunch time now. And uh, it's Friday, fish and chips Friday. So I've got a lovely little fish and chips here. Get that in the shot for you. Having a really nice day, um, the next uh, couple of scenes that we've got to do, we've got to go down to the canal and hopefully it doesn't start raining and I'm hoping that we finish early because it's Friday. I don't want to go home. I don't want to see my kids. The winner is Esther Sound! Yeah! So apparently there's some sort of cash prize giveaway that, um, I don't know, I think everyone sticks a pound in at the beginning of the week or something and, and there's a prize draw. I've, I've, this is the first time I've ever heard about it. I do feel a bit left out, I've got to be honest. All right, all done. It's about 10 to 4. On a Friday afternoon, great time to finish. It's unheard of finishing early on a shoot. Always, always running over, always running late. Um, but today we managed to really pull it out of the bag. So I'm going to get changed. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have a beer, and um, we'll probably pick this up tomorrow. Look at it, Claire. Look, it's like a jungle. Look out! It looks so much better in the space of like a couple of weeks. Look at it. <laughs> Look how much it's grown. Look, it's overtaking the decking. That's, a, that's going in the right direction, isn't it? If, well? if you say so, James, I don't know. Why are you getting excited? I don't know what you want. Why are you getting excited? <laughs> Why don't you start getting excited? Start getting excited. <laughs> She's got my foot. She's got my foot. <laughs> Idiot. Get on, Paisley. Paisley's got a little new scarf. Have you got a new scarf? I'm over here. Have you got a new scarf, Paisley? You I'm got over a new here. scarf? I'm over She'll here. never come to you if she's with me. Do you reckon? Yeah. Hey, what's this? Come here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, catch you later. Where are you going? To make myself look pretty. All right, good luck. I'm getting this grass cut and then once I've cut it we'll have more of a realistic idea of because obviously it looks really thick at the moment because it's, it's been growing for the last couple of weeks I haven't had a chance to cut it but I'm excited about this one that's the grass cut 
and I'm very pleased with the progress. Very pleased. It's still a little bit thin in this area, although from, from this angle you can't really tell. It's quite thin, some patches here. But this stuff all around here, all around here is so thick and healthy. Honestly, it's like a carpet at the moment. Oh, that's made me happy. Painting. We've been on a we've been on a painting kick. Harrison's setting it up in his playroom. I'm back in now. He's back, so no, he's not going to be able to move for the rest of the day. So. Does look good. Have you showed them? Yeah, I've showed them. No, of course you have. Of course you have. Whoa. Well, I tell you what. Get a shot of it now. If you're clever, maybe put a clip in from our last vlog a couple of weeks ago, and see if we can see a difference. It does look very luscious over there. Yeah, it's good. Just need to sort out that back corner now. That decking needs painted. Oh, I might need to take the painkiller. Me too. Just for life. Oh, my back is really sore. I know, James. I know, son. It's right down at the bottom. I heard you. The first 90 times you told me. Um, what's happened? What are we doing there? Uh... It's Sunday. We've not really been doing anything. Hardly seen each other. I know. It's been great. <laughs> I leave before you wake up. Yeah. Get home when it's bedtime. Yeah. Sometimes you come in, and obviously me and the kids are in bed. And sometimes you come in and I'll just like pretend I'm asleep so I don't need to like have a conversation. <laughs> Everybody does that! It's only feelings, isn't it? Everybody yeah. does that! I don't know, in case you like want a kiss or something. You're almost done filming. Almost finished. By the time this goes out, I'll be pretty much finished. Yeah. Then um, we can get back to... We can get back to just boring people on a more regular basis. Yeah. Not just once every couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, what have you been up to? What have you been up to this week? What's got on your nerves this week? What's, What's been, been annoying you? Grinding my gears. What's been grinding your gears this week, Claire? Um, people. People. Yeah, people. Oh, I tell you a situation that, that we got ourselves in. What? Right, and they won't mind me mentioning this. It's about John and Claire, our neighbours. Well, they went away on holiday. Yeah. For a week or so. Yeah. And um. Oh, I know what you're gonna say. And then you went. Oh, we need to um get a spare key we're gonna take their spare key just while they're away just in case like yeah and i was like what i was like don't get involved don't get involved in people's stuff and i was like what they said could you take a spare key and you went no i offered i was like what are you doing is that's a that's a good but what happens what happens if their house if you know a flood or their house gets broken into or there's burglars what am i gonna go around there what's the point of me having a key it's not to... You don't get involved in other people's It's not to confront burglars. Well, I don't know. No, it was just... I told you not to get involved, and then I get a text while I'm at work going, where's their spare key? What did you do with it? Because I suddenly remembered that John dropped it off to me. Yeah. And then I have no idea what I did with the spare yeah, key. I know. And even though I know that's my fault, yeah. For not remembering what I did with a spare key after it was given me. I had no recollection at all whatsoever. You were annoyed at me. It, I was brought, just thinking, it brought back all the annoyance. I was like, well, this is why you don't get involved. <laughs> right, first of all, it's a friend, it's a good friend thing to do. If somebody's away, you say, well, give me a key just in case you need me to do anything. Mm -hmm. Fine. Second of all... But then they might need you to do something. Right, but and then they you go, didn't though. Nothing happened. There was no flood. Their alarm wasn't going off, they didn't, you know, they didn't want me to go and check they'd turned the oven off, but what, like, what's the big deal if they did? I'm just saying, it could have been. It could have been a big deal. Uh, That's my rule. Don't rely on me and I won't rely on you. <laughs> we all know where we are. Nobody comes to you for help. I know, and that's because I've conditioned everyone I know. It's because you're so unhelpful. I don't ask anyone else for help, though. When was the last time I asked anyone else for help? Me. Apart from you, you're part. Of, you're me. You're an extension of me. Oh, 
Oh, great. We're all part, we're all part of James Buckley in this house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that is how your tiny little man brain works, isn't it? Yeah. When I get you to do something, it's like getting me to do something. <laughs> oh, well, you work very f***ing hard, I'll tell you that then. I know, exactly. <laughs> what if you decide to take me away on a fancy holiday for two weeks? Mm. And let's say we get a phone... Yeah, I know. Let's say we get a phone call that the alarm's going off. Mm. And the doors are all locked mm. and you kind of get in. What, what are we going to do? Just have the alarm going off for it'll, two weeks? It'll turn off eventually. Well, you call the people. If the alarm goes off, I get a phone call. And I go, yeah, just turn it off. All right, well, what if, what if we get a phone call from a neighbour saying, listen, there's water coming out your back door? Mm. So, well, I had a curry last night. <laughs> it's none of your business. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that me and the boys were doing a, a bit of painting. Um, and Harrison has now just been on, like, this painting kick. He's done a little glitchy Spongebob and then I think he saw this on YouTube where it's like the different versions. So we've got Sonic, Drippy, X-Ray, Glitch and Neon. Oh my god he's standing right behind me. I'm working on another one right now. Oh yeah? Come Is and show me then. Okay. Huh? Why is he wearing those gloves? <laughs> this is it. Oh wow. It's Sonic, Tails, Knuckles and Shadow and I'm doing it for Jud. Oh. Poscas are really good. Yeah, so what's this you're using? Where are they? Uh, they're on the floor. So he's using these things called Posca pens, which to be fair, anybody with kids who do like to paint and stuff, these are pretty good because they're paint, aren't they Harrison? Yeah. But obviously they're in pen form, which means a lot less mess. Um, no water. You don't need water and kitchen roll and all that sort of stuff, but you still, it still looks like paint and does yeah. it still feel like paint? Yeah, no, it's, it is paint. Right. Like. Yeah, they're pretty cool and you can do some good stuff with them, can't you? Yeah. So that's what you're doing with your Sunday. Where's your brother? What's he doing with his uh, Sunday? Probably playing video games. Playing video games. Should we go and see? Should we go and see what Judy's up to? Jude, what are you up to? What are you up to? Uh, nothing what are you doing? Uh, playing Sonic Forces. Playing Sonic Forces. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just being cool. Just being me. <laughs> Hello, good morning. It's Monday. The boys are at school. James is working. He's filming today, last week, and I am doing a little bit of my favourite thing, a bit of DIY. So, I bought what I thought was peel and stick wallpaper. I wanted to give it a go. Very 70s pattern, which I loved. It's from a website called Lust Home. Um, they've got loads of really cool wallpapers if you're looking for one. Anyway, I thought it was peel and stick, right? This is in uh, Mines and James's bedroom. And in there is our wardrobes. They're all sort of like built in, but they're white gloss and I've always hated them. So I thought, oh, I wonder if I could do like peel and stick wallpaper and try and cover them. Anyway, the problem is it's not peel and stick. So I was thinking, let me show you what we've got. Excuse the piles of washing. It's a very small room. So, that, and then these are the wardrobes that we've got. My plan was to cover these in that cool paper when I thought it was peel and stick. It's not peel and stick. Um, now I'm thinking I might just do the walls in here. I did buy wallpaper paste, but I've never... <laughs> I've never put wallpaper up and I know it's not the easiest thing to do, especially when you're trying to match patterns. But we'll give that a go. See what happens. Wow, this is trickier <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. I got the first bit up. I'm just going to carry on. I'm just going to keep going because it doesn't really matter. 
it's not a room that you know we come in and have a drink with people when or anything so I'm just giving it a go Probably be doing with a bigger stool as well. That would help me quite a bit, I'd imagine. That's not right, is it? Yeah, it's got to be. No, it's not. What's the line? Is that way up here? Wait, what? Why is that not lining up anywhere? Right, what the f Why is that not lining up? <gasps> it's upside down! Come on, Claire! Yeah, f idiot! Who was screaming at the screen there watching me doing that? alright for where you are. <laughs> I can see it close up. It's a big... Look how uneven that is. But it's... Look! It's bang on at the top. Kind of alright there. And then the seam just gets bigger. And the lines just start going off. How does that happen when it's like... Lined up? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I knew I got a day run a windy. <laughs> Oh sh! I just got blood on it. I've cut myself. Oh, I've got blood all over the paper. You know, if I could have figured out how to take the blinds down, I don't think this would have been too bad. How are you, son? This knife is crap. Right, I'm gonna need this bit because there's a big bit missing in there. <sighs> Lord help me! What have I done? This was a bad idea. That needs to be the bottom. How do you do that then? How do you do that? How do I fill that bit in? I need the top of this, right? Is that right? Right. Oh, you got to be f***ing me, man. F*** off. Right, I've f***ed it up. It right up. Oh god, I can't even be bothered fixing this camera. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that did not go well. <laughs> Shockingly enough, I'm not a paint and decorator. Um, that was really hard. I'm sweating. It's a mess. Oh. I've cut my hands so many times with that stupid little roller knife which just did not work at all. Come on, I'll show you. Right, obviously still need to tidy up. Now, it probably doesn't look too bad who where you are. I still need to obviously trim that bit. If you look closely, there's a bit up there that I had to like properly patch, <laughs> which isn't good. Maybe not the worst job in the world, but certainly nowhere near even decent, if I'm honest. <laughs> 